Lawrence Okoli vacates the WBC Bridgeweight world title, will now campaign at heavyweight. So here we have the, a statement from uh, Mauricio Suleiman. He said, the WBC has received official confirmation from Lawrence Okoli that he has decided to relinquish his Bridgeweight Championship in order to pursue his dream of becoming heavyweight champion. Consequently, interim champion Kevin Lorena is hereby confirmed as WBC Bridgeweight Champion. Lawrence Okoli put this statement out. He said, after much consideration, it is with a heavy heart. I have to unfortunately relinquish the WBC Bridgeweight title while respectfully requesting to be rated in the top five in the heavyweight division. Let's see whether the WBC grant that request. But if we have a look at the rankings again here, so you can see the WBC rankings, you got Tyson Fury at number one. And I really don't understand why Tyson Fury is ranked so high in these sanctioning bodies. I mean, look at him. He's ranked above Zhang with the WBO. He's ranked above Aji Caballel with the WBA and Zhang with the WBA. And he's ranked above Caballel, Bacoli, Zhang, so on and so forth with the WBC. And this is something they did with uh, Deontay Wilder as well. After he got beat, Arthur had been extremely inactive and he was coming off back-to-back -back losses against Fury and only that victory over a Robert Hellenius. They saw fit to rank Deontay Wilder extremely highly. When Anthony Joshua lost to Usyk, they dropped him down significantly. I don't think he was top three in any of the sanctioning bodies, but when AJ came back and he had a couple fights, I think after the Hellenius fight, they started ranking AJ really highly again. But uh, with Tyson Fury, he's coming off a loss to Alexander Usyk. And prior to that, a poor performance against Francis Ngannou, a guy making his pro debut in boxing. And some people think that Ngannou actually won the fight, not me. But there are many other people out there who will contend that Ngannou deserved to win the fight. So how on earth can Fury be ranked this high? I really don't like it when the sanctioning bodies show this much favor to ex-champions just because of their commercial status. I don't think commercial status should have anything to do with where a sanctioning body ranks you. I think it should be purely down to what you've done lately in boxing. WBC top five is where Okoli wants to be ranked. You got Tyson Fury, you got Ajit Kabayel, you got Martin Bacoli, Jelly Zhang, and F.A. Jagba. Who would pick Lawrence Okoli against any of those guys. The one who I'll give him the best chance against would be a Jagba. But, you know, it's not for Lawrence Okoli, who's only lost one fight and he's coming off a good win. It's not for him to be listening to naysayers like us. He has to believe in himself. So maybe he can prove us all wrong. Go in there in the top five fight and eliminate her against, I don't know, a Jagba. Beat him. We shall see. And, you know, Lawrence Okoli is a guy who is involved in business i think he's got some restaurant out in dubai and that's where he's based these days surely he wants more money i mean the kevin lorena fight you can go fight a guy like him for peanuts or you can move up to heavyweight get a fight in the top five against one of the top five guys and make what double triple quadruple so yeah that's what lawrence okoli has decided to do and i can't blame him yeah there's no money in the bridgeweight division and he's trying to make a living so I can't knock what he's trying to do there. And I'm sure it's not just about money for him. I'm sure he does have some belief that with Joe Gallagher, he can, uh, you know, maybe do something at heavyweight. We'll see.